in this instance because of the image of the president, in my opinion. Isn't there a strong chance that the debates will narrow the gap? Oh, the yeah. Question the part of the week, quite frankly. 34-year-old Senator Joseph Biden of Delaware believes the debates between Carter and President Ford starting next Thursday could determine to a great extent the outcome of the presidential election. Despite his optimism that Carter will win the debate, Senator Biden told newsmen today before a luncheon address to the City Club that looking at it realistically, the president could have a built-in advantage in his confrontation with Carter. Well, I think he can benefit more because he's going in as an underdog and no one really expects the voting public, I don't think, expects him to be very sharp or quick. That's not an asset that's been attributed to him. So if he comes off as being either of those things, I think it, it enhances his position, his image. Aren't the debates likely to narrow the gap between Governor Carter and President Ford? Governor Carter now enjoying a lead in the polls. No, I think they could broaden the gap significantly because if you notice from those polls that have been taken, there's a significant portion of undecided voters. I think the biggest thing those debates will do was sh uh, uh, firm up which way those undecided voters are going to go, and I'm convinced they'll go with Governor Carter. Yep. As a Catholic, uh, do you feel that Governor Carter is going to be pretty extensively damaged among the Catholic voters by his abortion stand? No, I don't. I don't think his abortion stand is going to cost him in the Catholic community. Why not? Because I don't think the Catholic community is unified in their position among themselves. And secondly, we've tended to be very tolerant of people who legitimately and honestly have a different point of view. Senator Biden frankly acknowledged that a draw in the debates could be interpreted as a Ford victory inasmuch as the president would be entering them as the underdog. Harold Keene for TV8 News from the Cuyamaca Club in downtown San Diego. Um, uh, even acknowledged by the president, by his actions, but Carter because he hovered uh, up about Kelly. Whether or not I think that that uh, um, that is a question with Jimmy Carter.